Last week, we took you to the final stop on the mission trail, the San Elizario Mission, and we also made a stop at the petting zoo at the Lincoln Dairy. Follow us this week as we see how the cheese is made at the Lincoln Dairy, and we have dinner at the edge of Texas. All this on this final episode of Treasures of El Paso. Alright, so we're no longer near the evilness of the ostriches, and I also have to admit I do miss the llamas and the baby goats. So, what's our next stop? Here it is. We're right outside Lee Cone Dairy. Let's go take a look what we can find inside. Come on. The Lee Cone Dairy makes a variety of cheeses and it's open to the public, but if you want to see it make it, you gotta be prepared to wake up really early. As we said earlier, this place is known for its homemade cheeses. We have this size, which could run in for about 20 bucks which is also better to the individual size ones. Unfortunately, we got here a little bit too late to watch and make it, but they, if you are interested in watching make the cheese, they do do it from 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. And since it was too late to watch and make the cheese, we attempted to make the cheese ourselves. Well, shaking that stuffed cow was a waste of time. We didn't even get any cheese out of it. it makes me mad. Now it was on to the final stop, the Edge of Texas restaurant for dinner. We're here at the Edge of Texas, which lies on the border between New Mexico and our very own Lone Star State. This prestigious restaurant is located on the Bowen Ranch, which is 88,000 acres wide. It's locally owned by Mr. and Mrs. Bowen, and we'll be catching up with Mrs. Bowen later on this evening after some good Western cooking. Yeah! And just in case you haven't gotten it, the Edge of Texas is literally on the Edge of Texas at the Texas and New Mexico border. Its location on the Bowen Ranch gives it a nice Texas country feel, even though you're only minutes away from bustling El Paso. We're here with Ms. Bucky Bowen, owner of the Edge of Texas. Ms. Bowen, could you tell us some of the history of this restaurant? Well, we, um, of course, have the Bowen Ranch, which encircles the restaurant, and um, it was kind of what my son's dream that he had a steakhouse on the restaurant on the on the uh, ranch. And I went, oh no! But we built it. We've been in operation for eight years. We've strictly gone on word of mouth. We have not had a lot of advertising, but we have people from all over the United States coming in and saying. If you go to the edge of Texas, if you go to El Paso, you gotta go to the edge of Texas. And I don't blame him because the atmosphere at the restaurant is amazing. But you know what else is more amazing? The food. Each plate at this restaurant is prepared on a fire grill, which makes it even more amazing. And it makes me very anxious because I can't wait to eat it. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. Thank you. Alright, nothing better than fine Texas cooking. Especially at the edge of Texas. Let's enjoy our wonderful meals as we watch the Tim Thompson in the background. And if you like live music, the restaurant is the place for you because every Friday and Saturday night, Tim Thompson performs a variety of country hits. Well, it's all the fun excitement we have for you on this episode of Hidden Treasures El Paso. I'm Bialo Montalongo. And I'm Sloan Bowen. I hope you enjoyed the ride, but as for us, we're dancing the night away. See you next time. Have you know she's been a fine.